John of Avila, Spanish Juan de Avila, the 6th of January 1499 to the 10th of May 1569, was a Spanish priest, preacher, scholastic author, and religious mystic who has been declared a saint and doctor of the Church by the Catholic Church. He is called the Apostle of Andalusia for his extensive ministry in that region. Topic: Life. Topic. Early years He was born in Almodovar del Campo, in the province of Ciudad Real, to Alfonso de Avila, of Jewish converso descent, and Catalina Zixon or Hijon, a wealthy and pious couple. At the age of 14, in 1513, he was sent to the University of Salamanca to study law. He withdrew in 1517, however, without receiving a degree. Returning home, Avila spent the next three years in the practice of austere piety. His sanctity impressed a Franciscan friar journeying through Almodovar, on whose advice he resumed his studies by matriculating at the University of Alcala de Henares, which was moved to the national capital in the 19th century and renamed the Complutense University of Madrid. There he undertook the study of philosophy and theology, in which he was fortunate to have as his teacher the noted Dominican friar Domingo de Soto. It appears that Avila earned his bachelor's degree during his years at Alcala and then left without completing requirements for the licentiate degree. Both his parents died while Avila was still a student, and after his ordination in spring 1526, he celebrated his first mass in the church where they were buried. He then sold the family property and gave the proceeds to the poor. He saw in the severing of natural ties a vocation to foreign missionary work and prepared to go to Mexico. He therefore traveled to Seville to await departure for the Indies in January 1527 with the Dominican friar, Julian Garces, appointed the first bishop of Tlaxcala. While waiting in Seville, his unusually great devotion in celebrating Mass, and his skills in catechesis and preaching, attracted the attention of Hernando de Contreras, a local priest, who mentioned him to the Archbishop of Seville and Inquisitor General, Alonso Manrique de Lara. The archbishop saw in the young cleric a powerful instrument to stir up the faith in Andalusia, and after considerable persuasion Juan was induced to abandon his journey to America. John seems to have lived in the initial years after 1526 in a small house in Seville with another priest, probably Contreras, and disciples gathered around him, in a loosely structured fraternal life. It was at the request of the younger sister of one of these disciples, Sancha Carrillo, that he began in 1527 to write the Audi Filia Listen, Daughter, a work he continued expanding and editing until his death. Topic. Apostle of Andalusia John's first sermon was preached on the 22nd of July 1529, and immediately established his reputation. During his nine years of missionary work in Andalusia, crowds packed the churches at all his sermons. However, his strong pleas for reform and his denunciation of the behavior of the aristocracy meant that he was denounced to the office of the Inquisition in Seville in 1531, and put in prison in the summer of 1532. He was charged with exaggerating the dangers of wealth and with closing the gates of heaven to the rich. The charges were refuted and he was declared innocent and released in July 1533. Around the end of 1534 or the beginning of 1535, John of Avila was incardinated into the Diocese of Córdoba, from which he received a small benefice. This city became his base for directing his disciples and moving around Andalusia, preaching and establishing schools and colleges in various neighboring cities such as Granada, Biza, Montilla and Zafra. It is thought that during this time Avila received the title of Master of Sacred Theology, probably in Granada around 1538. Of special importance was the University of Biza, established in 1538 by a papal bull of Pope Paul III. Avila served as its first rector, and it became a model for seminaries and for the schools of the Jesuits. Avila stayed in Granada from 1538 to 9, where it appears some kind of community was taking shape. 
Likewise, during the years 1546 to 1555, John lived with about 20 disciples in Córdoba, making it seem that he intended to begin some kind of formal foundation of apostolic priests. However, the foundation and fast expansion of the Jesuits meant that these ideas never came to fruition. From early 1551, when Avila began to experience poor health, he began actively encouraging his disciples who so desired to join the Jesuits, around 30 in total seem to have joined. Topic: Death From early 1551 Avila was in constant ill health. He spent the last years of his life in semi-retirement in the town of Montilla, in the province of Córdoba. He died there on 10 May 1569, and in accordance with his wishes was buried in that city, in the Jesuit Church of the Incarnation, which now serves as the sanctuary to his memory. Topic. Works. The Spanish critical edition of 1970 presents Avila's work in six volumes. These consist of two redactions he made of the Audi, Philia, 82 sermons and spiritual conferences, a few biblical commentaries, 257 letters representing the period from 1538 until his death, several treatises on reform and other minor treatises. John wrote letters to prelates who consulted him, such as Pedro Guerrero, Archbishop of Granada, and Juan de Ribera and Thomas of Villanova, both Archbishops of Valencia who were later canonized. He also wrote to Ignatius of Loyola, John of God and Teresa of Avila. Topic. Modern editions St. John of Avila's works were collected at Madrid in 1618, 1757, 1792 and 1805, a French translation by Dandeli was published at Paris in 1673, and a German translation by Schirmer in six volumes was issued at Regensburg between 1856 and 1881. The Audi, Filio was translated into English in 1620. A modern translation was published by the American scholar Joan Francis Gormley in 2006. A selection of his letters, entitled Spiritual Letters, were translated into English in 1631, a facsimile edition of which was printed in 1970. Topic. Influence Avila's saintly reputation, as well as his efforts to reform the clergy, to establish schools and colleges, and to catechize the laity, were the inspiration for many later reformers. He is especially revered by the Jesuits. Their development in Spain is attributed to his friendship and support for the Society of Jesus. There is a church in Alcala de Henares dedicated to him, St. John of Avila Parish Church. Topic. Veneration Avila was declared venerable by Pope Clement XIII on 8 February 1759 and beatified by Pope Leo XIII on 15 November 1893. On 31 May 1970 he was canonized by Pope Paul VI. Pope Benedict XVI named him a Doctor of the Church on 7 October 2012, the Feast of the Holy Rosary. The proclamation of the two new Doctors of the Church was made by Pope Benedict before tens of thousands of people in St. Peter's Square. During his homily, Pope Benedict said that John of Avila was a profound expert on the sacred scriptures, he was gifted with an ardent missionary spirit. He knew how to penetrate in a uniquely profound way the mysteries of the redemption worked by Christ for humanity. A man of God, he united constant prayer to apostolic action. He dedicated himself to preaching and to the more frequent practice of the sacraments, concentrating his commitment on improving the formation of candidates for the priesthood, of religious and of lay people, with a view to a fruitful reform of the Church. According to the Apostolic Letter for the Proclamation to Doctor of the Church, John of Avila explained that, 
Christian spiritual life, as a participation in the life of the Blessed Trinity, begins with faith in the God who is love, is grounded in God's goodness and mercy as expressed in the merits of Christ, and is wholly guided by the Spirit. More than a venerable professor, Father Master Avila was primarily a preacher and closely friend of Ignatius Loyola. John of Avila authored a prayerful and sapiential theology, based on the primacy of Christ and of grace in relation to the love of God, for which he showed a profound knowledge of the Bible, without setting forth a systematic synthesis. <laughs> 